second row. Hi guys, welcome back to 63rd part of the Arduino tutorials. In today's video, we'll be working on the RFID module. So first, we'll try to understand some basic working principle of RFID sensor. And at the end of the video, we'll try to interface with the Arduino and do some practical. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. So this is the RC522 RFID module kit which comes with this reader along with a card and tag. So this reader has an RF signal generator, receiver and an antenna. On the other side, the tag or the card is of passive type. That means they don't have a built-in power supply as a source of energy. These depend upon the electromagnetic waves generated from the reader to get the power supply. These consist of a controller chip, memory element, a rectifier circuit and a load. When the reader is connected with the power supply, it starts transmitting the RF signals. When the tag is brought near the reader, because of the mutual induction, there will be also voltage generated in the coil which is present in the tag. As soon as the tag gets the power, it will not directly start sending the data. Instead, it uses a technique called load modulation to share the data to the reader. The load will be continuously switched on and off based on the data present in the memory element, which changes the rate of current flow through the load. This rate of change in the current will create a feedback voltage in the reader. By this way, the reader will detect the data present in the tag. For this tutorial, you need Arduino board, RFID reader with tags, two LEDs of different color, breadboard and jumper wires. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in they have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms along with Arduino components there are also other categories so the single platform will help you to get all the required materials for your projects make sure you explore their products I leave the link in the description box moving on to the connections this RFID reader supports different protocols like SPI, UART and I2C but we'll be utilizing the SPI pins because of its higher speed. The 3.3 volts and ground of the module goes to Arduino 3.3 volts and ground. SDA and SCK pins goes to Arduino digital pins 10 and 13. MOSI and MISO pins goes to Arduino digital pins 11 and 12. And the reset pin goes to digital pin 9. For the LEDs, I'll use the breadboard. The negative terminals of both LEDs connects to Arduino ground. The positive terminal goes to Arduino digital pin 2 and 3. That's all the connections. I'll leave the circuit diagram link in the description box. Moving on to the coding. In order to make the code simple, we have a library available for RC522 module. To install, go to sketch, include library. Manage Libraries and search for RC522 and install this particular library. After installing the library, go to File, Examples, 
and you can search for RC522 library which we have installed earlier so in this you can open dump info code so this is the example code in which it will just print all the data from the card on the serial monitor in the declaration they are including the header file for SPI protocol and the RC522 library and pin declarations for reset pin and slave select pin for SPI and they have created an object of class RC522 which is taking two arguments slave select pin and the reset pin so in the setup they are calling init functions for SPI and the RFID so in the loop there are two functions called so one is to check for the new cards and other one to read the card details so at last they are printing all the details on the serial monitor so this is the basic code first we'll upload this and see what details we get on the serial monitor open the serial monitor and just place the card near the reader until it prints all the information so we have got all the information present in this card I'll just copy it for the notepad for better visibility so this is how the data inside this RFID card or the tag is arranged so here is the UID of this card and type which is Mayfair 1KB this card has 1024 bytes of memory and the memory is divided into sectors so we can see starts from sector 0 to sector 15 and every sector has four blocks so this is the sector 0 which has four blocks and each block can store 16 bytes of data so in total we can have 64 bytes of data in each sector so similarly if you consider 16 sectors it will be 64 into 16 equals to 1024 bytes of data in sector 0 first block we can see the UID of this card along with some manufacturer information and in every sector the last or the trialing block cannot be used for data storage because it contains key information for authentication purpose and access bits these are the access bits so using this we can set read write or read write access for each and every sector in rest of the blocks you can store your required data but for our project purpose we have to just use the UID of the card so in this way using dump info code you can extract your UID and keep it noted moving further on the project side I have used the same example code as a base and added some extra logic to compare the UID and control the LED bulbs based on access granted or denied scenarios so this is the code I'll just explain how it goes so in the declaration there are two LEDs defined green and red connected to pin 3 and 2 in the setup we are making both the pins as output also I have added extra text place your card in the loop these two functions remain same for checking the card and reading the card data so after reading the card we have to print the UID for that we have the members of the class which will have the information of the UID bytes so we are running the for loop which starts from 0 to size of the UID which is 4 in this particular case so this functions will print all the bytes of the UID one by one in the hex format so after printing the UID we also need to compare it to turn on the LEDs so either you can compare byte by byte using the array index from 0 to 3 or to make it easier 
we have declared one more variable called content with a string data type so using this function every byte is converted into string format and it's concatenated or stored to the single variable which is declared here so this makes the comparison easier so if the string stored in this variable is equal to this so this is basically the UID of the tag which I am using then I'm printing axis granted and turning on the LED for two seconds and turning off if you want to give axis for more than one card then you can use logical or operator and compare one more UID in the same way but for now I'll keep it just for one UID so if the content is not matching then we have text axis denied also we are turning on the red LED for two seconds and turning off so for any of your project you can use the same code template till here to get the UIDs and then you can add your custom logic based on your project requirements we'll upload this code and we'll see how it works so we place the correct card the green LED gets activated and for the wrong one the red LED switches on so that's all about the basics of RFID for code and circuit diagram of this tutorial you can get it from the link provided in description also you can use this same tutorial as a reference to make lot of other projects like RFID attendance system RFID door lock RFID based car parking system which will be doing it in the further videos stay tuned and subscribe thank you for watching